Hello valued viewers. Well, I'm making this video to help some of my friends out there who have a hard time getting percussion caps for their um, cap and ball revolvers. So we're going to go into how to make your own percussion caps. These are Remington number 10s. The percussion caps we make, they are very time consuming, but they do work. Um, everything that I'm going to talk to you about now, I've tried myself, and it works. The first round, this is more of the, I have, there's a special tool where you can make your own cap bodies, but if you do not have this tool, because it is pretty hard to find and hard to get. I found mine on a, a website called 22LR. I think it was like 22LR Reloader or 22 Reload. Um, I'll try to find it and put a description, or a link to it in the description. Um, but if I don't, it won't be there. But if I do find it, I'll put it up. Um, it's like 30 bucks, and you can make your own caps out of this, which we'll get to a little bit later. But if you have nothing at all, this actually works, and I've tried it. Now, do you remember when you were a little kid and you had a pop gun, and it took the little rings of cylinders with all the little caps on it? Well, that's what this is, but it's in a straight line. Now... One of these by itself does not set off powder. You're going to have to add more to it. And there's two ways you can do that. One is the matchbox way, which I'll get into that a little later. And one is buying the string version of this, you know, the paper version of this. And then using a little hole punch, you can knock out the little parts and add them to these. I usually add about three or four. It, it takes quite a bit to set off powder. But I will set one of these off. I'm not going to load all three in it. I can't shoot the gun. I'm in my house. I'm not even have the ability to go to a range anytime soon. So I'm going to demonstrate this and hopefully I'll be able to come out with a video showing all the shooting. But take my word for it. Everything I'm talking about I have done before and I have shot and it did work. Okay. So we'll start with these plastic caps. You buy a a big thing of like this if you don't have this little maker and this works it, it really does it's kind of you know a little sketchy but it, it, it works fine so as you can see you can put one onto a nipple and it fits it fits quite well actually well this one's being a little bit but it, it does fit and I'll put it onto the gun One second. As you can see, it went off. So, and that's using these. This works, and if you can't make your own caps from scratch, you might have to go this route. But this is more of the, you know, if I'm really desperate and you got to make these, because like I said before, these are very time consuming to make. So, let's get on to the next one. Real quick though, this is the one that I just fired, and as you can see, it they stay on the gun, so you gotta remove them yourself. They don't fall apart like a normal cap does. So this does slow down the reloading and loading time, but it's better than having no way of setting the gun off at all. So now we'll get into the next part. Okay, so now we'll talk about this tool right here. It is a two-piece tool. Uh, you actually use aluminum from Sprite cans. Um, that's usually what I see it made with. That's what the instructions tell you. Uh, you know, any pop can. And uh, you stick it in. Take this top out. Stick it in from the side all the way. Hit it. And right there. There's your new cap. An actual little tin cap. Uh, I should have done it backwards so you would have seen the silver on the outside, not the inside. But it doesn't matter. Now, the same rule applies for how you fill it. You know, puts a little hole there. Um, the same rule applies as those little plastic caps. You take these strips like this and knock them out with a hole punch until you got a bunch out there. I usually put anywhere between three or four into these to get them to go off reliably. Um, and that doesn't mean that they don't go off without it. It's just making sure that the the powder is actually ignited um, and sets the powder charge off. So 
this is, like I said, this is pretty time consuming to make all these. And there is another way of doing it without these little um, pop caps. And I'll get that into that in just a minute as well. But I put two in there just for demonstration. And uh, let me load it up real quick. All right, so we're back. We'll get this pushed on. Okay, so it's on. <laughs> And normally you wouldn't do it with the green side out. You would just do it with the uh, the other. But heard the pop, it went off. I only used two. Like I said, you usually want to do three. Um, that makes it pretty reliable. Um, sometimes that isn't enough either. Like you just need to, to test, make these things and test them. And uh, find out what works for you. Um, now the best way... I personally think is the best way is you make a bunch of powder that is now impact ignition just like these little basically what's in these little pla or paper cappers so give me a second and I'll show you how that works okay, so I just did this real quick you take matches you put them on paper using a hammer break the heads off of them they need to be on regular strike on box matches they need to be strike on box matches Again, they need to be strike on box matches. So these two, just because we're going to make very little of it. Take your box. Grab a knife. And now what you're going to do is, is this stuff that's on the box that you strike onto. You're going to shave some of that off. And put it on top of the other part. Now this box of matches is extremely old. It's like 15, 16 years old. So hopefully this works because I haven't done this in a long time. As you can see, I did it a long time ago. And I've never needed to do it again. So I might need to replace my box. Just not all that much has fallen off. And we'll see. We'll try it with that. What we do is, is you lightly want to mix this stuff because now it's, it's impact uh, sensitive. Okay, so we'll just fold this piece of paper up. We're not going to make an actual cap with this. We're just going to demonstrate it because when you do, when you make this stuff, use 91% alcohol, okay? And you're going to turn that into a slurry so it can't ignite. And then you would fill up your little, you know, caps that you make. You'd fill those up with that slurry, wait for the alcohol to flash off, and then it ignites fine. But, eh, it's not igniting. What's going on here? I think I need to be on a better counter. Actually, that's someone, some ignited. But, yeah, it works, though. Now, last subject, I think these are old matches. Very, they're very, very old matches. Um, I'll, I'll try to do that again with some fresh matches. I'll put up another video eventually. Um, like I said in the very beginning, this is for mature adults, and whatever happens to you is on your own, your own liability. Um, I'm telling you what works for me. And I'm hoping some of these things might help you guys get to where you need to be. Making it easier if you can't find percussion caps. This is more of a uh, kind of a, a preppers thing. And everything's pretty much gone because you can make black powder. Now you can make your caps as well. So um, let me know what you guys think about this. I'll answer as any questions that I possibly can. I've tried all of these methods. They all work. Um, I'm having a hard time with the matches just because they're so old. Uh, a matter of fact, I just tried striking one on the box and it didn't even go off. So uh, I'll try that again. But if this is taken responsibly and you guys are curious and want to know, I can teach you guys how to make black powder as well, which we're going to call firework um, black powder for fireworks. Um, that way the algorithm is not screwing us over. 
But let me know what you guys think. And like, comment, share, subscribe. And But I'd like to hear from you guys.